this morning I have made my way by taxi because I couldn't be bothered working out the public transport to the catacombs of San Gennaro. So taxi driver said they are beautiful so I'm really looking forward to going in there. The people of Naples love their fireworks and uh, from 12 to almost 1 last night there was just fireworks going off everywhere personal fireworks um, outside the building um, which did wake wake us up so a bit tired today um, but you know it's all good it's all part of the adventure and part of the fun um, so yeah I'm really looking forward to seeing these catacombs should be good <laughs> We saw three different types of graves. There was one for the uh, poorer and lower class people, which was on the ground. Then there were some in the wall, which were for the middle class people. And then there were like domed or crypts or that type of thing that had the, the higher class people. So but the thing that I found really interesting about that though, is sometimes the middle class people in the wall were higher than the higher class people. So to me, that's not a normal thing. You know, you always got, you know, the higher people, higher, obviously. So anyway, um, they were really cool, quite cool inside. <laughs> um, so, um, but yeah, really interesting. Uh, there was a church, there were some frescoes, there were some, yeah, beautiful Byzantine paintings. So really lovely. Um, and now we've just walked down to the, the archeological museum uh, and fingers crossed it's open being, uh, New Year's Day and this is meant to be amazing so I'm really looking forward to going in and checking out and seeing what's in there. very peculiar um, in the museum here is that there is a gallery dedicated to um, males penises um, which is fun it's great um, it's there's lots of interesting things to, to see um, however there is also this exhibition here an aphrodisia uh, exhibition but however this one has a warning um, so if you're under 14 you need uh, parents guidance so penis though vaginas yes so we have finished at the museum and we just had something to eat some sushi uh, it was very expensive and <laughs> but now um i did download one of those kind of like uh, scavenger hunt games around naples so uh, i think it takes us to about 10 different locations it starts at the museum and it gives you clues and you have to solve the riddles and to get the information for the next destination so we've already got the first one and which was a clock and um, now we are heading to the next location so this should be fun uh, <laughs> amy's already exhausted uh, but it'll be fun it'll be fun
Amy and I are still doing our treasure hunt uh, slash, you know, walking tour of Naples. And it, it is kind of fun. And, and I think she's enjoying the fact that we are doing something as well rather than just walking. So she's, I've been getting her to answer most of the questions, which has been really good. And here she is. So uh, the walking to a slash treasure hunt does bring us to this fountain here. And so one of the one of the things we have to do for this particular one is count certain things. So, I mean, lions or people or whatever, and put that number in and see if it's right. And if it's right, then it gives us some information on Naples. And then it also then gives us the location of the next place we need to go to. So it's actually been quite fun. Um, we did stop along the way a couple of times for food. The first place was you know, the sushi place. And then the second place we, we stuck in and we didn't stick in, but we went to a little shop and got a piece of pizza. Uh, which you can buy by the slice and it was so good. I had one with corn, which I think, oh, people are still learning off fireworks, um, which Amy thought was weird, but I thought it tasted delicious. Anyway, let's finish this uh, clue and, or puzzle and then we can move on to the eight out of 10 locations uh, for this game. treasure hunt and we end up here at the basilica here and it was really fun um we did keep getting the answer wrong uh and that was maybe because we missed out a c and that's okay <laughs> that's okay um just look it's fun anyway so um we've finished there was 10 different places that we went to uh we've walked a fair bit i'm interested to see how many steps i've done today and how, or how many kilometers and um it's getting a bit cool now and it's still sprinkling so it's probably time for us to head back to our accommodation uh, maybe find some an early dinner along the way just anything that's open um because we don't want a repeat of last night where we didn't find anything open um yeah it's been a great day i really enjoyed it it's a really interesting way to see the city it's something a little bit different and um, there was lots of information contained within the app for the game uh, which was great so yeah really enjoyed it we stopped at the first restaurant that was open that wasn't a mcdonald's and i ordered this delicious lemon veal we then caught the metro back to be closer to our accommodation all up i almost did 16,000 steps what a day